welcome back to another video so today we are going to rebuild my little robot Wally. A few years ago, I built a wooden version of the robot Wally. Let's call him the Mark III, as there were others. At the time, I wasn't able to get him to work, so I left him in storage, hoping to get back to him later. But sadly, I never got the chance. And over years of neglect in a dusty old garage, he just fell apart. Until today, as I got him out of storage and onto the table and joyfully started taking him further apart. I sanded off the hot glue that was holding him together. Then switched to this big knife as it proved to be much more effective. After sanding and scraping, I washed down a decade of dust and dirt from all his butts and pieces. So with a tiny little bit of sunlight left, I think I'm going to try to stick his box together or the mud part of his body. I got him inside as it was getting a little too dark out. Alright, so first I'm gonna put his body or try to put his body together. I have little baby Wally here. I thought it would be nice to have him in the background. So I'm gonna start off with the body. Okay, so now with this box finally complete, I think I'm going to start adding the motors. I'm going to open up here. With his motors in place, I began to glue and screw all the parts that would make up his legs. Good night. The next day, I made him a power pack to help him get around and thought I would glue it to the inside of his chest board. Do you remember this? I took the receiver from the solar powered boat I made, got the circuits out and glued it to the inside of his trunk and connected the motors to the receiver. Mm -hmm. 
I wrapped a piece of rope around his drive wheel and lower wheel to test his mobility which was really pathetic as you can see but I suspect his batteries might be low so I got him out, gave them a charge and came back later much better Though he's not able to turn properly, as you can see, the rope is kinda slipping around his wheels. So what we got is a forward and backwards running robot. I then started to put his head together. So his eyes is a little bit faded, so what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna take this lid from the flux and just go over that and color that in and that should be good and this one is broken so we may need to fix that or we will have to fix that but first I'm gonna retrace it and color it in it's good There's a wally eyes. Good morning, sleepy head. The next morning, I worked on the motor that would be turning his head around. So underneath Wally's head is this gear that connects to this gear and to the motor, which will allow his head to turn around. And I couldn't find his original arms, so what I did was I just made him a new set. They looked much better than the old ones anyway. I attached this arm to a gear motor. And with some persuasion, I fitted it to his body. Then connected all the little motors to the receiver in his back. Let's get him outside to do a little test. Forward and backward seems to be working just fine. Though, he still needs a little help when turning. Also, he seems to be struggling when going uphill or at the incline. But downhill, he just dominates. And his head keeps falling over. For some reason, I couldn't turn his head around. But I think it's safe to say his arms are working just fine. So there you have it guys, he's not a total success. He clearly needs a little bit more work, but next week I will be addressing his mobility and giving him some few upgrades. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video.